We have some missing fraction, addition and subtraction problems. So first, 3 fifths plus what is equal to 4 fifths? Well, we can show 3 fifths as 3 parts out of 5 on our fraction bar, and we know that something has been added to make 4 fifths. So, if we colour in 4 fifths of our fraction bar, we can see that we need an extra 1 fifth to make 4 fifths coloured in altogether. 1 fifth of our fraction bar is yellow. And that makes sense, because whenever we have a missing number addition, we can use subtraction to find our missing number. So here, notice that 4 fifths, if we start with what's coloured in, take away 3 fifths, so take away what's coloured in blue, gives us our missing fraction, so gives us the 1 fifth that we have in yellow. Now, 1 eighth plus what equals 5 eighths? Well, we can show 1 eighth in blue, and then if we colour in yellow so that 5 eighths of our fraction bar is coloured in altogether, we can see that we have 4 yellow pieces, so that's 4 eighths. And again, notice that 5 eighths take away 1 eighth is equal to 4 eighths, so we can use subtraction to find our missing number addition, even if the missing number is a fraction. Now, let's move on to missing fraction subtraction problems. So, 5 sevenths minus what is equal to 2 sevenths? Well, we can show 5 sevenths as 5 parts out of 7, and we know that something has been taken away to leave us with only 2 sevenths. So, the 2 sevenths we're left with can be shaded in blue, and then we can see what's been taken away. It's the 3 sevenths that we have in yellow. And we know that if the second number in a subtraction problem is missing, we can still use subtraction to find our missing number. So notice that 5 sevenths take away 2 sevenths is equal to 3 sevenths, so we'll find us our missing fraction. Finally, 5 sixths minus what is equal to 1 sixth? We can show 5 sixths as 5 parts out of 6, and we know that something has been subtracted to leave us with just 1 sixth, so that's the 1 sixth that's now shaded blue. So, we can see that 4 sixth of our fraction bar is now yellow, and that's the 4 sixths that's been taken away. And again, notice because it's the second number in our subtraction problem that's missing, we can use subtraction to find our answer. 4 sixths is the same as 5 sixths minus 1 sixth.